Hey everybody, I'm going to jump on here really quick. You're not going to see my face, but I'm going to show you how I customize, oops, how I customized my, my uh, design software. This is the HGTV. I think this is version seven. I had three that I gave to my nephew. Apparently when you customize it, you have to leave the disc in so it picks up every time but anyway I'm going to show you how I customize it because you can use their their stuff like this but you know you look at their sinks and furniture and cabinets especially they're all kind of generic so I'm going to show you how I customize mine and Okay, I have never heard of a BIM catalog before, ever, but, okay, we're going to type in BIM catalog, and we're going to go down to, okay, we're going to bring this one up to the top, this uh, BIM models and catalogs for Envisioneer, because that's what what our software is. BIM is building information mater er, materials. Let me check. Let's check and see what that means. BIM object. Okay, basically it is just uh, building information materials. It's a, it's a coding, it's a digital description of your object. Um, like Kohler, Kohler has BIM catalog, so you can use the stock that comes with the program or you can use like their toilets, their tubs, their faucets. And the BIM is basically just the coding, so it'll work together. You can do there, you can do... Oh, excuse me, I'm so yachting. Um, Marvin, Anderson, Armstrong, Lennox, Maytag. They do have Sub-Zero and Wolf. But these are for, well, you see down here where it says created for version 13. So seven is too early for it. It's not gonna, it's not gonna load. Some of these are, yeah, here's version 13, version 14. So some of these are not gonna load, but it just depends on what version you have. The Maytag, I know well. So, we'll go right to here, where it says Maytag Kitchen, and then... Now, where do we... Now, see, we already have it downloaded there, so we're not going to save, but that's where it would go. Then you click out of there. You download every one of those catalogs, and you do that for every single one. So that when you get to here, you click on File, you go down to Import, and right here, BIM Catalog. Now you can download or place each one individually into your project. I'd rather just download the entire catalog and you have it for whenever you want it. Now, when I had the, the third version, I already downloaded these. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. But I downloaded all of these BIM catalogs. Now, version 7s, they all saved to here. So, let's say we're going to... Okay, Braille Bricks. We know that one's going to work. 
Some of these will not work. I'm going to tell you that right now. Some will not. Again, it depends on the version of software you're using. Now, you do not have to do these individually. You click on Documents. You click on Transfer. And this is what will happen. And done. Okay. So everything in that catalog will load. Now, I'm going to show you the difference between between a regular stock item, let's say a 30 inch electric gas stove or electric range. We're going to put it there. That doesn't look right. We're going to delete this guy. I wonder if you can even see him. Okay, there we go. This doesn't look right. So, there's a 30 inch electric range. There we go. We're going to now see this is what it looks like. This is your stock. Now we're going to go, we're going to close up there. Here's a Maytag. Those are microwaves. We don't want a microwave. We want a range. So, a slide electric range. We're going to do this one. It's going to be a slide in, but that's not right. Let's go with Let's go with this guy. Okay, this is what happens when you do a, a Maytag catalog range. Now, it, I don't know why it's showing up like that, but you go to mapping. You can either tap this or just hold the... And just hold that on there till you get it where you want it and then start tapping to there we go okay now the cooktop part we're going to do the same thing we're going to bring it down here so we can see it first down then we'll go over Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to go over. There we go. Now we have that, this Maytag stove, or Or this stock stove. I would rather have the Maytag one. But that's how you customize. Okay, we're going to get rid of that. Now we're going to go up here. That's how you customize using the BIM catalogs, which I had never heard of till I started using this software. When I was in school in lacrosse, we had um, 2020, which I absolutely loved. And then when I worked in West Salem, it was Kitchen Builder, which it worked for what we needed it for, but it, it didn't have very many bells and whistles. Then the company went out of business, so they can't get any more tech support or updates or upgrades. or They're basically stuck with it. And for the same money, they could have got 2020, which is, you know, 2020, you can actually open... Um, you can open cabinet doors and drawers and anyway, this is the closest I've followed for, for my purposes. Okay, we're going to go, we're going to open a file and I'm going to show you the second way you can customize this. Go to downloads. Let's go to farmhouse fun. 
you can put your own... Okay, da 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 We're waiting for it to come up. This is the second way I really customize this, and you need to keep the the thing in the disc in the hard drive. Sorry about that. I customize I customize by putting by putting my own pictures. Yes, we're in Madison, Wisconsin. I customize by putting my own pictures in the frames. And I'll show you how I do that. We're going to go to 3D Perspective. And let's move my bottle out of the way here. It's a strawberry water. Okay, we're going to click on the hand there. So we're going to bring this up a little bigger. Now, let's see. Click down on this. I'm going to go in the kitchen because I want to show the other way I customize. See, here's another one I... No, you can't see the picture. Okay. Another way I customize is I put my own stained glass windows. Now you can do stained glass, but, okay, you go to leaf. You can have mullions in there. You just decide how many panes. I do one, so it's one solid piece of glass. Then I go to appearance. You go down to glass. And here, now, they had glass, stained glass in here, but it was a type you see in churches. And I mean, let's face it, unless you're remodeling a church, you don't need that style. So you can go online, go to Google and type in Frank Lloyd Wright windows or stained glass prairie style windows. And then you go to here Say like this one. Well, this is the one we used here. So you go, to, you click on that. Oh, I don't know why I'm yawning, but anyway, you click select, and then you go on your computer, new folder. Is that open? Okay, there's all my windows. Now, some of these I doubled and some I just kept single. You click on, there's your window that you want. You label it. I just put number two. We're going to cancel so we don't mess it up because it's already done. And there you go. So, that's what you get when you... And it replaces the ones that were preloaded. Okay, that's done. So now you picked your window. You want to make sure it's centered. You type on mapping and you override tile size. Then you just keep playing with these numbers until you get this centered the way you want. Now, an important thing when you, here, cancel. When you override or um, replace these, you put them in these correct folders. Here's pictures. I replaced a lot of theirs because, I mean, let's face it, some of the ones that came with it are, yeah. They had they had three antique maps that I used a lot on the previous version, and now they only have one. So if you do a fish tank, you have these, but you save these in the pictures folder. So just remember where you Make sure you save them in the correct spaces. But that's how you replace some of their elements with some of your own. I did, let's see, let's go here and turn around, because I have some of these that I'm especially happy with. Um, we're gonna turn like this. Okay, I did 
this picture for the TV appearance. And this one is Bucky doing push-ups, but there's also, let's see, home electronics. You click on this one and you have your television screen. And they only have one. Before they had one that looked like they were um, like CNN, like you had a news channel on. Then they had this one for sports. But, and I didn't change this, change it on here. I put it under, oh, oh there's landscape back. Okay, let's see what we got. Ocean at night. They have a bunch of these cool ones. But that's not what we're looking We're looking for pictures. I saved the Bucky and Badger game. I could save on home electronics and then put more pictures on here. We're gonna cancel it like this here. This is the old beef barn. This is the tobacco shed where I grew up. If I turn this, okay, here's Bucky's still doing push-ups. We leave it that way because it means the badger's got a touchdown. This is the two pictures I took of the beef barn. Then I turn my camera this, bring it out here. Oh, look at that. This is the farm where I grew up. I was able to save that on there. Oh, where did we go? We disappeared. We're gonna... Hmm. Okay, it's, it must be auto-saving or something, because it's being really weird. I think I was trying to have it do too much at one time. You get to look at... That's an entertainment center that I placed as a china cabinet. This is like a dining room. Here's that farm picture. Two Norwegian rose malt tiles. Um, well, we're trying to get this back over again. We'll go into the kitchen. Uh, let's go in this way. Okay, we're in the kitchen now. This picture here is another one that I preloaded myself just to customize. This is a Maytag dishwasher, Kohler faucet. So these are off the BIM catalogs, not the stock, what comes with it. So this is how you can customize your software. You just have to leave it, leave the disc in the drive. I did the dishes different color to resemble Fiesta where they don't have it on there but you again there's so many things you can customize and do your drawings and and there are tutorials on YouTube they just don't show you how to you know put your own pictures in put your own stained glass in and I don't think there's so many that show the BIM or explain those so so there you go enjoy have <coughs> happy drawing <coughs> Excuse me. Happy drawing and we'll see you again in another video.